Just do what you have to do. I always do, Sam. I always do. The thing you have to understand is this. The Sam Fisher you knew is dead. America killed him, asked him to make one sacrifice too many, cross one line too far. A drunk driver killed him, some anonymous asshole who ran down his daughter and vanished. And she was the one thing in his life that humanized him. And his agency killed him. It set him up turned him loose and told him to pull the trigger on his best friend in a dirty New York City basement. Irving Lambert died by Sam's hand that day. And so did Sam. So he left. Left her at Echelon, left the life he knew, left America and mom and apple pie, left it all behind. He hopped off the grid and went walkabout, looking for a reason to go on living. Eventually, he found it. He caught a whisper in the wind that maybe his daughter's death hadn't been an accident. He heard a name, and he found somewhere to go looking. A city right. called Valletta. It's in Malta. Excuse me, sir. Yes? Phone call for you. Please accept this. Compliments of your call. Sam. Who is this? How'd you find me? Give me a little credit, Sam. Don't tell me you don't recognize my voice even after all this time. Grim, what do you want? To save your life. We can go from there. A team of armed men just entered the marketplace looking for you. They're closing in on your position. Unless you do exactly what I say, this will be a very short conversation. I'm not doing a damn thing until you tell me how you found me. We're third echelon. We've got an eye on everyone. Look up. You'll see it. Come on. I see it. Then I can take it back up to safe altitude, and you can get moving. You still haven't told me how you found me. Move. You've got multiple hostiles inbound on your position, and from where you're at, you're a sitting duck. Now get to that group of stalls in the market. There's a lot of cover for you there. Just like the old days, huh, Grim? Just like the old days, Sam. Are you carrying? Yeah, but I'd rather not risk a firefight when there are civilians around. That's very noble of you. But right now, what matters to me is getting you out of there in one piece. So get to that group of booths right now, or I can't help you, Sam. Let's get you a little closer to those targets in the light over there. Go cover to cover until you reach the luggage stand. Make it there, and I might be able to help you out. I don't like being out here with no freaking backup. Put the guys on, huh? Did you think of that? Yeah. Get some goddamn backup down here now, all right? Yeah. At least we know the guy's alone. I'm there. Hang on. I'm tapping into the city's power grid. That'll let me overload the transformers near you and blow out those lights. Hey there, kiddo. What's wrong? I don't like the dark. It's scary. Turn on the light for me, please. Come on, sweetie. There's nothing to be afraid of in the dark. 
Sometimes darkness is a good thing. Like when you want to go to sleep. I could go to sleep with the light on. When it's light, you can't see into a place that's dark. But when it's dark, you can see what's around you much better. Really? Really. So if there's monsters or bad people around, you can see them. And if you're in the dark, they can't see you. I can't see you either. Can you please turn the light back on? Okay. Then how about this? There's one really cool thing I didn't show you yet. There is? Show me. Okay, here it is. When you're in the dark and your eyes get used to it, you can see all sorts of things around you really well. And then you can do stuff with them. Like what? Now take a look at your mobile. You can see it really well, right? If there were monsters standing underneath it, because I can see it, maybe I could make it fall on them and they'd go away. And it would fall on their heads and they wouldn't be bad anymore? That's my girl. Teddy, what was that? <sighs> Daddy needs you to stay in bed now, okay? He's gonna shut the door and I'll be back real soon, all right? Okay, Daddy, I love you. Shh. Stay in bed. There you go, Sam. Nice and dark, just the way you like it. Is that it, man? You pull that shit and then you hide? Well, fuck you! You think you're badass? You and me, man, we're just getting started. Fuck! Whoa, man! Fuck! Did anyone see him? Come on, look out! Die, bitch! Shit, Fisher, that's how you fight! You ain't got no stones, man! Be a man, you douche! Come out and play! Come out and show yourself, fuckface! <laughs> What do you got, man? You got anything good? This place is shit. Yeah, you picked it, asshole. You said we'd get a couple of thou east. I heard there was metals and shit we could fence in here. The lady that lives here is hot. Maybe we could wait for her to come home. Take it out and trade. Now shit. you're talking. Baby, don't look. Sam? Sam? What are you doing, Daddy? What, what are you doing? doing? Sam, talk to me. Sam? Sam, are you there? Come on, don't check out on me. Graham. Oh, there you are. They brought in some reinforcements, and the man calling the shots is with them. Get a hold of him. I'll ID him, and you can figure out what questions to ask. I've got an ID on the leader, Sam. His name is Dimitri Gramkos, a local street-level boss. He hires himself and his gang out on a regular basis. Who's he working for now? Why don't you ask him? I think I will. You see anything? No. No, I mean... Shit. This Fisher guy's smart. Probably ran out the back entrance to the market, so he's here with our thumbs up our asses. Not happening. Back's all blocked off. He's gotta come through here. Hopefully before we die of old age. Where the hell is he hiding anyway? Jewelry stand, maybe? Nah, not enough cover. 
It's got to be somewhere around here. Probably someplace close. If he was close, we'd see him. We'd take him out. Get that reward money Grand Cross is promising for whoever puts a cap in this guy's ass. Looking for me, asshole. No more playing around. Who sent you? Fuck you! Coben want me dead. If I talk, he'll kill me. He drove the car that hit your daughter. Used to brag about it, you know? Huh? Heard you were coming, so he hired me to, to kill you before you killed him. You should refund his money. Where do I find him? You don't understand. Oh, it killed me. In the city, the old museum on King George Street. It's his place now. Guards out front and on the sides. Don't tell him I told you. Oh, I'm not going to tell him a damn thing. Don't tell him I told you. But I knew all along that's where Sam would be going. Anything dirty in Malta ran through that mansion. Coben's whole operation was based there, and he turned the place into a fortress. Which, to be fair, it pretty much was to start with. And that was before he filled the place with jumpy guys toting automatic weapons. But Sam knew. Coben was in there, and then he might know something about what happened to his daughter. So, Sam was going in, no matter what.
body bags, they've all they've got your smoke. That shit's nothing. Say I blame him. What, because of the shipment? That's bullshit. We've handled like six of these already. You heard the client. They're very serious about this one. Maybe they know that Coven's slipping. All well, the way he's been powdering his nose, it's hard not to. Thank God it's the last one. That's if we get it out of here tonight. <laughs> Coven doesn't go and screw it up. Coven's not gonna go anywhere near it. No, he's gonna stay locked in here. Yeah, the guys are gonna make the delivery. What's an agent? Coven's on his game. He's a smooth operator. I heard that that, that Russian gig went down okay. sweet. Yeah, but the Fisher guy's got him spooked bad. I have Fisher is you know, death on wheels. You gotta wonder what Coven did to pick him up. Are you So what are we supposed to do with these? Drag them to the back courtyard. Let someone else dump them. I guess that's something. Who are these assholes anyway? CIA or KGB guys or something. Uh, they're, they're part of the Russian gig. Coven cleaned them up. Coven cleaned up secret agents? Shit, now I'm impressed. I'm a little freaked. I mean, what the hell is he doing capping spooks? Who the hell has he got us working for? Who's gonna ask him to cap spooks? Who's gonna come looking for this guy? You guys are... Pissed. They missed the hit on Fisher at the market. The I guess it's up to us now, man. Man, did you see that list of meds Coven wants? Can't you? He eats them like candy, man. Coming. Probably wants a you new flavor. Know that, huh? you no, really I mean the list. I'm just Would saying. You shut up you put it all down on the side of the you ammo box. Hey, way over his head. That's what you asked him for this He time. drowns. We drown, drown with him. Uh, man, well, I liked you I better when you were talking about the brains. Shoot them. You're a fucking army of them. You're one man, no matter how good it's not getting in here. Oh, look at Mr. Big Shot. You really don't give a shit, do you? How many people did I hear? Maybe hold up Coben, maybe steal something, maybe kill somebody. You know what? They're all dead, just like this Fisher is going to be.
That did the trick. How we doing? We're ahead of schedule. Don't tell those guys that. Yeah, no kidding. Any idea what's in the big box? Don't know, don't care. It's expensive, it's Russian, that's all I need. So this means we're using the usual pilot for this run? He does all the tough shipments. Yeah, Kobin trusts him. The Americans don't, that's why they're going to the right, I guess. Yeah, protecting their investment. All I'm saying is I wouldn't want to be that guy back now, you know what I mean? Yeah, I know. You got that loaded? Check. The crates? Yeah. Check. Port materials? Check. The big crates? Turn it back on! Don't, don't have time for the head up. Ah, this is perfect. Now where's the fucking switch? Not good, fuck. Shit, we have to find Fisher. Guys, I've got a problem here. This looks bad. Coven warned us, so let's keep our eyes open. Oh, shit, man. I bet it's that if Fisher. If you're the ghost of the museum, you'll die a second Coben time. Fine, I'll take that spot. Take Would the you 
two? They're on the right. Guns up. Found me. Be careful. Watch your back. You've got to find a first. You hear me? Flush him out. Take him down. Look for Chris. You'll die. You want I'll give you a head start. Check the grounds anyway, just in case. There's not a lot of place to hide in an empty museum, Fisher! Oh, oh. That works. I know you're in the museum, Fisher. Come on what? out! <laughs> Fisher's destroyed! Shit! God, how the fuck does he do that? Shit. Don't know about you, but I don't want to be next. Show yourself, Mr. Oh, I'll show you Malkai's woman, you know! Where the hell is he? Oh, no. Coven's gonna pay up big when I put a bullet in you, Fisher! I'm waiting for you. That's it, bitch. That ain't good. Don't want to try those odds again. Through the window. Then you shoot him! What kind of fucking stupid question is that? 
You get this straight. Nobody is going anywhere until Fisher is dead. Until he shows up, all you gotta do is shut up and get ready to shoot. Are we clear? Yeah, boss. I just shut up. Easy there, boss. I'm gonna make it easier. I'm ready. Are you idiots ready? I'm ready. I'm ready right now. <laughs> I'm not hearing anything. What are you waiting for? <laughs> Fucking kill him! <laughs> something about my daughter oh god no yeah i was just messing with you man i didn't mean it i swear i didn't mean it then make it up to me tell me why you killed her i can't tell you all you can do is kill me Just a job. They just gave me a picture and told me to provide a body. That's all it was, a dump job. They isn't good enough. Who were you working for? I can't tell you. I'm still working for them. They'll gut me if I tell you.
They're not the ones you should be worried about right now. You don't get it, Fisher! They're bigger than you! They're bigger than me! Don't you see? They told me you were coming! Drop it, Fisher! Drop no, it down! No, you won't be hurt! Sam, we need to go with them. The hell I do. Please, you have to trust me on this one. If you're talking to the Ice Queen, Fisher, I'd advise you to listen. She knows all sorts of things you'd be interested in. What took you so fucking long? Don't move hands in the air, it's not like nice and easy. Man, this is Ghost Hawk 1. We've secured Panther and are ready to return to base. All right, Grim. You get this one. But if it's a setup... Son of a... I'll be happy when we drop off Sleeping Beauty. So will Reed. I saw his people out by his chopper ready to go. He's probably impatient. Look, Colonel Prentice, I got us here as fast as I could. Yes, you did, Oscar. Tom Reed's just not a patient man. Uh, Colonel, I don't mean to be pushy on this one, but I do need to talk to you about my pay. I was told Coburn was handling that. Well, yes, sir, but since there were these changes, you see, extra passengers with extra gear and a longer flight plan. Tell you what, Oscar. Take it up with Colonel Reed. He'll take care of you. It was clear someone wanted to talk to Sam. That's why they went to all the trouble of setting them up at Coburn's. That's why they tranked them and flew them back home. They needed him docile when they offloaded him at their private airstrip up in the Blue Ridge, because if they hadn't, he would have taken that place apart with his bare hands. 